Ah, don't worry about him, Link. He won't be hiding for long. Besides, we'll take care of him in the sequel. We're not here to talk about Majora's Mask. We're here to talk about what I and countless others consider the greatest video game of all time. We're here to sing some praises to the tune of an ocarina. We're here to offer exultation for the one, the only, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. For the second time in as many weeks, we're harvesting bombs, slashing Deku scrubs, playing lullabies, and purging the great Deku tree from the... Um, from the... Wait, wait, wait a minute, what the f*** is this? If you're like me and you got this game memorized, you're probably thinking the same thing. This isn't Ocarina of Time, and you're right. At least, you're half right. This is the special Master Quest version of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. A GameCube remix of the timeless Nintendo 64 masterpiece. So here's the deal, after Ocarina of Time changed the world in 1998, Nintendo started working on an add-on for the game that used the 64DD. No, that wasn't the Great Fairy's bra size, it was a disk drive peripheral that expanded the storage capabilities of the Nintendo 64. And using that attachment, Nintendo began working on Ura Zelda. Ura Zelda was a lot like the second quest in the first Legend of Zelda for the NES, essentially a more challenging version of the original Ocarina of Time. Unfortunately, the 64DD was a commercial failure in Japan, and even though it was scheduled for a North American release, the attachment never came stateside. Uh, for avid Zelda fans, it seemed Ura Zelda would forever be stuck in the water temple, so to speak. But just a few years later, it managed to take off the iron boots and float to the surface in the form of this, the Master Quest version of Ocarina of Time. Now this thing never had its own retail release. Uh, it was actually a free gift for those who pre-ordered the 2003 Zelda game, The Wind Waker, and it was also sold in an exclusive Walmart GameCube bundle as well. We got our copy from our good friend Eric in Texas, and although we don't usually re-review games, we made an exception for this one. In fact, we made like two or three exceptions for this one. You don't like it? Well, it's like Navy says. Our channel, our rules. If you've never played the Master Quest or you're not familiar with it, really, now's the time to get acquainted because the upcoming 3DS remake of Ocarina of Time is confirmed to include a remake of the Master Quest version of the game as well. And if you've ever complained about Zelda games being too easy, well, this is the quest for you. When you start playing the Master Quest, you kind of forget it's a special version. The game's identical to Ocarina of Time in virtually every regard. In fact, not a single thing is different until you get to a dungeon. And that's where the Master Quest makes its mark. This game takes the dungeons you know and love from Ocarina of Time and completely changes them, rearranging enemies and puzzles to the point that it feels like you're actually playing an entirely different game and a much harder one at that. Well, what makes the Master Quest such a compelling journey is that it toys with your expectations. Fans remember every last detail of Ocarina of Time, and the Master Quest is all too aware of that. The game seems to arrange its dungeons for the sole purpose of turning the expected upside down, to make you lose trust in 13 years of Ocarina Instincts. You might jump over a gap you've jumped over dozens of times in Ocarina, only to be clobbered by a spider that was never there before. Puzzles are far more elaborate, foes are bigger and more dangerous. This is definitely a quest intended for Ocarina Masters, and the way it twists the familiar into something new is truly engaging. Like the GameCube version of the original Ocarina of Time, uh, which is also included on this disc, Master Quest has received a substantial visual upgrade over the Nintendo 64 original. It runs in 640x480 and supports progressive scan, which really allows the style and art that made Ocarina such a beautiful game in 1998 show through. The models and textures may be dated, but artistically, this is still a gorgeous game. Again, for my full thoughts and analysis on Ocarina itself, check out the epic 10-minute review I did over on Mark's channel. But by now, you probably know how I feel about this game. It's my all-time favorite, I consider it the greatest game ever made, and since nothing's been able to surpass it since, you might as well just play a new version that feels like a whole new game. 
It's the Master Quest version of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, coming soon to a 3DS near you to blow your minds all over again. Oh, come on! And, and frustrate the hell out of you.